Okay, so for everyone wondering, this is my real voice. It's not an act. I'm, I'm not copying keys. You see, in my adolescent years, I developed this strange voice likely due to my father, who was a voice actor and practiced different voices in my formative years of development. So during these years, Keys and other people, my friends and family, they mocked me, they mimicked my voice. And this is a true story, by the way. It's a bit of a touchy subject, but I understand that since Keys worked here before me, you think that I'm copying him. Well, screw you guys. I'm just kidding, you're all right. You probably skipped this intro by now anyway, so let's just get on with it. Today's big stories are coming from Google's I.O. 2016 event. Let's get started. First up is Google Assistant. It's basically a big upgrade for Google Now. Next up, Google revealed Google Home. It's a home speaker with Google Assistant built in. You can enjoy music, manage everyday tasks, set timers, and home systems like Nest. And in the hopefully near future, you'll be able to order dinner or send flowers to a loved one. No pricing yet for the Google Home, but the Amazon Echo should start shaking in its boots. Up next was Google's new smart messaging app, Allo, or Allo, like in French. Allo has smart reply options to not only text, but do smart image replies as well. Allo also allows for users to express themselves further with whisper shout, allowing the font size to be changed on the fly by dragging the send button up or down. And Allo will support built-in games you can play with the people you message. For video calls, there's Duo. It works on both Android and iOS. You can also see a live stream of the video caller before you even pick up with the knock-knock feature. Both Allo and Duo are coming out this summer. Android N was next on the docket. They still haven't figured out a name for N and are asking suggestions from people. There are 250 new features in Android N for improving performance, security, and productivity. Features like faster app installs, multi-window modes, quick switching, and even direct replies from the notification bar. Android N will also be available this summer. Moving along to Android Wear 2.0, where the big news was that you could now do things like launch Spotify without having your phone on you, just your wearable. We also saw the introduction of Android Instant Apps, where you could use apps through the Google search without having to install said app. But the juiciest news was Android VR. Google announced their Daydream VR platform. Android N will have a VR mode to support Daydream. Daydream offers low latency, we're talking under 20 milliseconds. There wasn't physical hardware shown during the keynote, but they had reference designs for the headset and also showed off the controller in a couple of slides. Google already has partners like Asus, Samsung, LG, Huawei, and others lined up to offer Android VR devices out this fall. Okay, that's enough from the Googs, as Jack calls them. On to shorter news stories said more quickly than the others. Microsoft announced today that they would be selling Nokia to Foxconn for $350 million. Model S and Model X car owners will be receiving an update to summon mode that will have the driver confirm the path that the vehicle will take to either park or have the car come to them autonomously. Leon Lee has stepped out of their comfort zone of making just aluminum towers. The company now has a lineup of steel PC cases called Ebon Steel. Nvidia now has their landing page up for the GTX 1070, but early slides were shown with a $379 MSRP, a $449 Founders Edition, and a release date of June 10th. And finally, a smartwatch that is also a projection called the Cas1 from Chinese company Asu is now available for roughly $460. Asu, it. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post, linked in the description. And guess what? It's not the pizza guy. <laughs> I watched the video where that's from in Watch Dogs and I'm sorry, that's not even close to what he sounds like, but... There you go. Why, hello there. Were you looking for more ways to interact with us? Send us some tweets for us to say using NCIX Yodog. Or you can make your own version of Quick Bits, Lightning Round, Snippy Snippets, or Short News Yaris uh, more quickly than the others. That's my, I, I, well, I don't even know what you would do for that. We haven't really done that, but uh, anyways, feel free. But if you're the type to just sit back and watch videos, consider checking out our second channel, NCIX TV. We're NCIX Tech Tips, where we don't just make the Kool-Aid, we drink it too. What's that even mean, Jack? I, yeah, uh, I don't know, I just, I just wrote it in. Kool-Aid. Uh, Alright then. <laughs> Alright, that's it for NetLink Daily. Thank you guys for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on the social media over here. But as always, don't forget to like the video, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more like this from NCIX. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to talk to my lawyer about trademarking my voice so Keys can't use it. Although, yeah, I, I won't actually do that. I mean, Keys can use my voice, but... Just so long as you know who the original is. 
this guy. <laughs> you, you, you sound like keys. You sound just like a stop copying keys. Why don't you do that? That's what you guys sound like. <laughs>